Hello, and welcome back to Tarot by Lodestone Productions, where we help you discover your true north. I am a DT, and this is a message for whenever this message reaches you. Because spirit is not bound to our time and space continuum, and so the only time by which we tell time is divine time. Do you know what I'm saying? So let's check our spiritual voicemail and see what's what, shall we? Do let's. Okay. Hmm. Reaching out. Reaching. Okay. What are you looking for? Ugh. Excuse me, what are you searching for? What is it that you think you're missing? Hmm. Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of this deck. eyeball one moment oh uh, okay goodness all right checking direction checking direction here we go four pentacles in the two of wands hmm making plans making plans checking your progress making a decision and then moving in that decision with the two of wands the four of pentacles it's Compiling resources, compiling the resources and making something bigger where the whole is greater than the sum of its parts. Got the Ace of Wands with the Knight of Cups and the Two of Cups. Wow. Okay. So we've got passion, we've got creativity, we've got passion here, so you're following your gut, but then also the Knight of Cups where you're like following your heart as well. Hmm. So like the Page of Cups asks, what if? And the Knight of Cups asks, why not? And then we've got the Two of Cups, which is like the beginnings of love um, or a, a partnership of some, of some sort. It's not always romantic, but it's what I'm getting right now. And also like making a real connection that's good. This is, um, these are really good conditions. If you are in the market for romantic love, these are optimal conditions for that. And then we've got the four of cups clarified by the four of cups, the queen of cups and the high priestess, a lot of emotion here. I mean a lot. All right. So the four of cups, I told you non fat, no foam. This comes after like the three of cups. This is what I like to call the hangover card. Um, this could also mean, you know, I need to back up off of it and sit my ass down. Tangerine tonic. Yeah, I'm fucked up now. 
Um, there's because you're you you are so full from the three of cups, um, the four of cups. Even though you are sitting down and kind of chilling, it's like you're because you're full as a tick. You are missing some big pieces of a puzzle and then we've got the queen of cups which is like she's really wise really she, she's really wise with emotions you know she can help other people navigate their own feelings and knows how to redirect the current to make it the most beneficial for her. She is stable. She's very nurturing. Like there is a lot of abundance around her. Uh, very giving as well. And then we've got the high priestess. She knows a lot. But the high priestess is the subject matter expert on all things ancient. She's, she's like an angel on earth. An immortal, almost. She's kind of, she's, she's viewed that way. Um, also, when the high priestess comes out, this is about trusting where you are and trusting your intuition. You're getting a lot of information and you want to, oh, wow, I can't see anything. Oh, hey, there she is. And there he is and there you are. And let's move these up so that you can actually see these things. What? Aditi, you want us to see the cars? Yeah, kind of do. Kind of do. There we go. Ta-da! Okay, there we go. But yes, the high priestess, she's, uh, there we go, the high priestess, she's, she keeps the ancient secrets. Right. And because she's been trusted to keep the ancient secrets, there is a countenance about her that is unlike that of, say, a queen of any of these suits. Like she's got other stuff going on. We've got the seven of wands, the emperor, the chariot, queen of swords, knight of pentacles. And King of Wands. So, Four of Pentacles clarified by the Seven of Wands. This is um, checking, doing, you're doing your checks and balances, uh, making sure that what you have can be defended, right? Um, also keeping an eye out for the competition, even if that competition is simply you. There's, you know, you gotta, gotta take care of that too. Um, the Ace of Wands is clarified by the Emperor and the Chariot. Even though you want to have complete and total control over this new fire that is brewing, please understand that this is a fire that is brewing. And because it is a fire, there it's going to be volatile by nature. As much as you want to keep it chill and cool, it could, it could go off the rails. And because this is a spiritual fire, spirit is actually running the show. 
and the rails that you think you want to be on are not the ones that um, spirit is planning on putting you on. So just hang on and manage your expectations. Okay. Emperor, let's manage your expectations. With the Four of Cups, we have the Queen of Swords, the Knight of Pentacles, and the King of Wands. Super smart, super passionate, very driven. Very driven. Like whatever this is that you're missing in these Four of Cups between the Queen of Swords and the Nine of Wands, um, they are not going to rest until they actually find that thing that they have missed. With the Knight of Pentacles thrown in for the long suffering, because this may take a while for this code to be cracked, but that's all right. It's all right, because now that you have set your sights on finding this, these are wonderful energies to have that'll draw you to that. We've got the moon, the eight of pentacles, the page of wands, the magician, the ten of wands, and the hierophant. The mysteries, man. The mysteries. Because it boils down to information that you're not privy to. I understand that there's this desire to have it all, to know it all, to be able to step back and see all of the different angles. And that's great when it's time for that. But then there are other times like this with the moon and this is this is keeping it close to the vest, not making a lot of noise. This is um, being aware that what you see in front of you may not always be fact, right? There's a lot of um, there are illusions with the moon. You know, and when the moon shines its light on things, it tends to make things look dreamy, a little bit softer. And this, um, this is also, it also could speak about like the world behind the worlds. And that's not. When you're in the world, behind the worlds, that's not a place for you to go gallivanting, right? You got to walk your path and that's it. Eight of Pentacles and the Page of Wands. This is focus, man. Repetition, being diligent, um, being able to succeed and have um, your 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 worksmanship not be called into question you've got a nice groove here you were just working on the things and working on the things and then we've got the page of wands who is quite inspirational you know you've got this new passionate beginning and the page of wands starts to um, starts to shape this fire into something that could you know really be great um, this is all about you know like ideas and having some freedom to be able to throw stuff to the wall and see what sticks uh, page of Wands is in a phrase and like, well, let's just give it a shot. 
I, 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 it may not it, it may not materialize into anything it may be something life-changing let's just give it a shot give it a real shot and then we've got the magician the ten of wands and the hierophant rounding us out with this four of cups um, because you've decided to look for this thing that you have missed that this this thing that you are missing this ace of cups um you unlocked a new skill with the magician especially once you find it it's it's going to be a game changer for you all right along with the Ten of Wands, it's, and now you, you've got this pressure. You put this pressure on yourself. There's a, but you're almost done. Yeah, you're almost done. But you, you took on a lot. And some of this isn't even yours. But you're done carrying other people's stuff because you need to be able to have your friends hands free to work your magic a hierophant definitely understands that um, the hierophant is also very you know wise and uh in one of the senior positions right so the hierophant can absolutely lend their wisdom to both the Ten of Wands and to the Magician on how to make better use of their strengths. There's, there is a propensity to stick to the rules, even when the rules don't make sense. Um, because there is a lot of trust in the ancient text and it's one thing like yes there's a lot of okay trust in the ancient text which could lean to blind blind trust if not handled properly Remember to take an active role in your life and not just sit around and wait for life to happen to you. Mm. Ten of Pentacles, clarifying the Four of Pentacles. Three of Swords, clarifying the Ace of Wands. And the Seven of Wands, clarifying the Four of Cups. You keep stacking that cheese. I don't know how, but absolutely. This money is going to be long. You hear me? You're doing the right thing. You're walking this path. You're doing stuff when you don't feel like doing it. And it's going to pay off for you in the end. And this, um, this new spark was very much birthed out of pain or a loss or like uh, some, some sort of perceived lack. It actually sparked you into this, I need to fine tune and I need to try other ways because the ways that I did try brought me here to this Three of Swords energy and I'm not trying to stick around for that. Um, seven of Wands. Seven of Wands was right up here. Yeah, I thought so. Okay, so there's there's uh, there's some pushback with this Four of Cups energy, 
even when you're looking for that ace, there may be some opposition to that, telling you that, you know, hey, you're right here, you're chilling, you're in a comfortable position. Look, the grass is green, the trees got plenty shade. You, you ain't got to reach for that. Yes, you do. This is you literally battling against yourself and your own complacency here. Um, ooh, that's, yeah, with the Hierophant. Stop it. Because you can very much just lean into, you know, your own self-importance, especially when you have a deep and intimate knowledge of the universal wisdom. Real easy to slip into complacency there. So mind that. Keep be on be be wary of that as you're moving forward. Okay. Thank you for taking the time to hang out with me today. And until we meet again, remember to be good to yourselves and to each other. And I will see you next time. Bye now.